Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio Class. So here I am with one more important video for all my dear Class Eight students. So here we have board sample paper or model paper of uh, March two thousand twenty four of second language English, which is going to be of fifty marks, and the sample paper is here, which I am going to share with you all. So it's not a solved one, but we'll try to solve some of the questions. But the main motive is here to give you an idea of how the question is going to be asked in the examination in your board examination for all the class 8 students so this is for english of second language so let's get started okay so here you see that you are having the question answers the questions given the heading given so let's start with the first one and the first one is Four alternatives are given for each of the following questions. Choose the correct alternative and write the complete answer along with the options for question number one to six. Okay, so let's see how do we go about it. Um, okay, so the first question. So there will be 16 questions which will have you have the alternative questions or alternative or multiple choice questions. So let's start quickly. The children are the treasure of the nation. The synonym of the underlined world is, you know what is the synonym, the other meaning, okay, the same meaning. So the answer would be, uh, which one of it? You are having beauty, wealth, burden, or loss. Yes, of course, treasure means wealth. The synonym will be wealth. Second, though we become old, we must think we are dash enough to do our work. The appropriate antonym, yeah, antonym means opposite. So what is the opposite of old? New, clever, young, or hard? It's yes, young. So the answer will be young. Next, Ganga is dash sacred river. It is also dash longest river in India. The appropriate articles to be filled in the blanks are the, which is the most suitable uh, uh, articles? Is it A, and and A, uh, the, A, uh, or A, uh, the? So, Ganga is a sacred river. You will write A uh, here. And it is also the longest river. So, A uh, and the, the option D would be the right answer. Next question for the teacher dash dictate. A few words to write in the class. The appropriate form of the verb to be filled in the blank is dictated, dictating, dictation, or dictate. So this is in the past. So of course the answer will be A, dictated. So answer is dictated. Okay. So let's go to the next question now. I dash John's address. Appropriate words to be filled in the blanks are I dash new new see the words there are similar words but it has it has to be correct one so i knew john's new address so it would be option d i knew k n a w new means knowing to know i knew john's new address the now the new address which he is now staying at okay so option d would be the right answer here next fatima is a good dancer the underlined words in the above sentence are dash what are the words which are underlined is it pronouns or is it nouns verbs or adjectives so of course the name of a person or name of any profession it would be noun so the parts of speech is noun okay so option b noun is the right answer next study the following pictures and choose the right statement given below so you have three boxes 5 10 and 15 kg so box c is the heaviest of all the three box b is heavier than box c Box B is not heavier than box A or box B is the heaviest of all the three. I hope you will have, we would have got it that box C is the heaviest of all the three it would be the right one. Okay, you can think once again and pause the video and check for the question and take your time and then answer. Now, next question. Srishti is polite dash her sister is rude. The appropriate conjunction to be filled in the blank. Conjunction means joining word, right? So, sister is polite but answer would be because so therefore or but of course the answer would be but because you're comparing also here sister is polite but her sister is rude next the word free rhymes with the word dash which with word which with word with which word does the word free rhymes bath c q or here 
free and c right it rhymes with c free c the ending sound the syllable remains the same so option b would be the right answer free c right next study the following picture and choose the correct answer okay for number 10 and 11 you can see the picture the girl in the picture is dash feeding the birds feeding the rabbits watching the rabbits playing with her brother you could see that she is feeding the birds so you could write as option a as the right answer next the picture tells us that we must hurt the bird and animals take care of bird and animals be cruel to birds and animals or not love birds and animals so of course you get to know that you have to take care of birds and animals if you see from this picture right so answer will be option b take care of birds and animals now you have a passage here you need to read it out and then you need to give question 12 and 13. So let's read the passage. Eric began climbing mountains at an early age. He finally climbed Mount Everest at the age of 33. It was not easy to achieve this feat. He bravely faced the weather conditions and steep slopes. He gave the team some anxious moments, but Eric's spirit and confidence remained unbeaten. He was the first blind man to reach Mount Everest. Isn't it that a great achievement? Okay, so this is a paragraph about Eric. Now, Eric finally climbed Mount Everest at the age of, so 33, you have just read here. So, option C, 33 will be the right answer. The quality of Eric that successfully helped him to climb Mount Everest was his dash, beauty, weakness, bravery, or laziness. How, with what kind of person was he? Did you see, did you read anything here? Oh, yes, you have a word brave. He bravely faced the weather condition. That means bravery would be the right answer. I hope you are getting it and it's easy for you all to understand. Now, study the following price list and choose the correct answer for the question 14 and 15. Okay, so you have some fruits, items given over here and prices per kilogram per kg. So you just have to observe and then you have to write the answers over here. So the first item here is kiwi, rupees 300, apple 260, grapes 80, pomegranate 260, banana 90 orange 100 okay so this is the table with the amount with the cost now the costliest fruit in the market is which is the costliest fruit here that you can observe so yes it is kiwi 300 so option c would be the right answer here right similarly the fruits which cost the same are which two fruits have the same cost over here okay so uh, you can see it's very nearer to each other will be grapes and banana. So do you have the, no, you don't have the option. Okay, per kilogram. Fine. The fruits which cost the same are apple and orange, kiwi and pomegranate, orange and kiwi or apple and pomegranate. Which one is the similar? So if you compare orange and kiwi, no apple and orange apple 260 orange 100 no orange and kiwi orange 100 kiwi 300 no then if you have kiwi and pomegranate kiwi is 300 pomegranate is 260 so you can consider let us check one more apple and pomegranate apple is 260 and pomegranate is 260 yes we got it so we have apple and pomegranate which will be the right answer so here we'll change this to option d right because apple is 260 pomegranate is also rupees 260 so it is both are the equal cost having equal cost in the market fine so this is how the how you write the answer but the costliest will be c kiwi okay fine next joshi is narrating a story the appropriate question tag to be added in the blank is Is he? Was he? Isn't he? Or wasn't he? When you read the sentence, if it isn't positive, of course the question tag would be in negative. And you see the verb here is is. So is 
with the negative tag in the option if you see it is isn't he so option option c will be your right answer isn't he joshi is narrating a story isn't he okay next do as directed now you have four questions one mark each sinchana is writing a novel change the above sentence into passive voice what will you write in passive voice a novel is being written by sinchana okay subject will come into the last and object will come in the first next 23 comes dash in 24 and 25 fill in the blank with appropriate preposition 23 comes in dash 24 and 25 before 24 and 25 right so before will be the answer preposition because preposition of uh, the word before is a preposition word right okay and 20 come 23 comes before 24 and 25 next last week rahim dash a picture on a wall b plus draw is a hint given fill in the blanks with appropriate form of verbs given in the bracket last week rahim was drawing a picture on the wall or had been drawing it will be had been drawing because it's last week right it's a past so it would be had last week rahim had been drawing a picture on the wall now stella said to jacinta i am writing a letter change the above sentence into reported speech so how would you write you will write it as stella said to jacinta that she was writing a letter okay that i will become into she and uh, am will become into past the present tense will change into past tense so stella said to justina that she was writing a letter next do as directed you have a passage over here now i'll just uh, give you a few seconds so that you read it by yourself the passage which is given and then based on that you will have to answer the question here i'll just quickly read out the questions and you can pause the video and look for the answers from the paragraph okay so here it's a two mark uh, question each so the first question what made Raman discover the Raman effect? So you just have to read this paragraph about Raman and then you need to give the answer. Okay. Next, grid the given passage and answer the following questions. Again, you have a passage here. You can stop the video, pause it and you can read the entire passage. And then you have a question here. Describe the appearance of a dark boy and a white boy. Okay, very simple one question from each paragraph. Next, third, some important events in the story, all the world, your stage, are given in jumbled order. Put them in the order in which they appear in the story. So, you have to arrange it in chronological order. The, the scenes, the events of the story is just jumbled up. What happened first in your story should be written first here so you have to rearrange this according to the occurrence of the story according to the order of the story which you have read it okay so this is to be done by you like that way now next question is read the given paragraph and fill in the blanks with correct answers again you have a small short paragraph which you have to read it and you have to find the answers for this within this paragraph you can pause the video again as well here and find the answer let's move to the next question question 25 smitha meets her friend saida at a birthday party write a short conversation between them in four to five exchanges okay so with four to five sentences you can write what conversation would have been uh, happened between these two friends smitha and saida at a birthday party so you can just assume and you can write a conversation here next you have read a life history of lal bahadur shastri what qualities of shastri would you like to adopt in your life so i suppose this is from your chapter so you have read the story you have read the life history of lal bahadur shastri what are the qualities that you liked and you would like to adopt in your life you need to write this in your own words okay so moving to next question answer the following questions after reading the extract okay you have some poem and then you have to read it and give the answer for it so the passage the extract is given here what were the good qualities of the boy that won the old woman's heart okay so you just have to read it and find the answer and write it understand it and then write it 
Next, given below is a profile of Miss Sindhu. Write a paragraph using the given detail. So here, this is a bio, uh, a bio data you can see or a detail or a profile itself. And you need to write the entire details of this person in a paragraph. For example, uh, the above profile is uh, about Miss Sindhu. She was born on May 5th, 1981 and in Belgaum. The, her parents were Mr. Kumar and Mrs. Janki and she was educated as her education qualification was MSc B. Ed and she was a lecturer in GPUC Hosanagar. Her hobbies were reading and singing and she was popular for her kind, helpful and innovative uh, attributes. Okay, so like this, you need to write it in the form of sentence that will make a paragraph. So all the details are given here. You just need to make it into a paragraph. So this will earn you good marks. And then let's move to the next one. You have to develop a meaningful story using the clothes given below. So you have small points given over here. You need to develop this into a story you, taking the help of these points. In a forest, a lion killing many animals every day. You might have heard this story also when you were small. So these are some of the key points which are given. You have to elaborate it, make it a big story. And with the help of this point, you need to develop the story. Okay. So that would be your answer. Next will be read the given passage and answer the given questions. Again, you have uh, Pandit Puttaraj Gavai, a story about him. I'm, I'm in a small extract or a passage about him. You need to read it and describe the appearance of Pandit Puttaraj Gavai. Okay. So the question is given here. You need to read this and you need to write about the appearance so you can just pause the video and take your own time to write the answers next question is what are pandit putraj gavai's contribution to the world of music again you can refer this paragraph okay you can go back pause the video and find the answer so next question will be about your writing skill you are rakshit or reshma studying in eighth standard government high school mysore Write a letter to your head teacher asking him or her to issue your, your original TC and Max card. So this will be a formal letter, right? Or write a letter to your friend about the Republic Day celebration in your school. So there is an option between formal and informal letter. Which one you know the best with the proper format, you can just opt one and write it. Okay. So... So this is what uh, your paper will be all about. So the main motive was to make you all understand the pattern and the questions which are likely to be asked in your board exams or in your annual exam of 8th class 8. So the purpose was just to give you an idea or uh, whichever and wherever it was possible, the answers were set to you and the others you need to work a bit little uh, hard to find the answers and uh, be prepared for your exams. I hope this video is going to help help you all to prepare for your board exam as well so here we end the video i hope you liked it and it was informative and if it was informative and if you liked it do hit the like button and share it with your friends and stay tuned for more such videos thank you